Hey everybody, I was looking through your IXL scores and I was getting some questions. So I just wanted to take a few minutes to address uh, IXL I9 under Algebra 1 or Level K if you have letters for your levels and just go over a few problems and hopefully these can help you sort out um, the difficulties and challenges that you are having. So we're just gonna jump in and get started. I'm gonna do a few problems from each level and um, we'll take it from there. So the first thing you have to do is read the problem and see what are we solving for. And what that means is what we are getting alone. So right here it says solve for W. So that means that I want this W to be by itself. Right now, uh, what's happening to that W is it has a V uh, being added onto it. So what I have to do, I'm just gonna rewrite my problem. I'm sorry, it's messy, not the best at writing on here. So since I want W by itself, I'm solving for W, I have to subtract this V because the V is positive and I wanna cancel it out. That's gonna give me um, X minus V on this side equals W and I can just flip that around and uh, write in here that we have X minus V equals W and I can submit it. Uh, let's try one, uh, another one in this level. So right now it's saying I'm solving for C. Oops, sorry. I'm solving for C. Uh, and right now that says A equals negative C uh, times B. So the first thing I want to do is rewrite it. And I want to get rid of this negative that's affecting it and this B that's affecting it. And then if I get rid of the negative and the B, I'm going to be left with C all by itself. So I'm just going to divide by negative B. And when I divide by negative B, what that does is it cancels out the negative and it cancels out the B. So I now have C by itself and I have A over negative B as my answer. So I'm just going to come and type that in. I'm going to click my little fraction button, A, negative B. Awesome. Uh, we'll do one more in this level and then I'll level up. So continuing on, it says solve for W. Sorry. It says solve for W and W right now is being multiplied by V. So rewrite it, VW equals X, Y, U. And if I wanna get W by itself, I just have to get rid of the V that's multiplying it by dividing it. Remember inverse operations, divide by V over here. And once that happens, I'm left with W all by itself and then X, Y, U divided by V. Sorry, that's a U. And come on over and just type it in. X, Y, U over V. All right, so that's how to do, uh, we'll do one more because this one has some addition and subtraction involved. We haven't done much of that. This one says solve for V in terms of T, U, and W. So I want to get this V by itself. Right now that V has a U being added and a W subtracted. So remember inverse operations, if I wanna get V alone, I'm going to subtract the U and that's gonna give me T minus U equals V minus W. I'm just gonna add the W to cancel that out, add W. That gives me T minus U plus W equals V. And I'm sorry this is so messy, but we're all doing our best here, right? So V equals T minus U plus W. So all we're doing here, guys, is we're just rearranging. This is uh, super helpful uh, when you are working with formulas and it's gonna be very important moving forward when we're doing area and volume. Uh, so it's, it's good that you are working hard and, and trying to learn this now. So solve for U in terms of T, V, and W. So I want to get this U by itself. W equals 1 over V 
times T and U. So I have to do inverse right now. Uh, if I want to get this by itself, that's what I'm focusing on. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply both sides by T. Not multiply, I'm sorry. I'm going to divide both sides by T because it's multiplying right now. So let's just divide by T. And that is going to give me W over T equals 1 over V times U because that cancels out. Now, to get rid of a fraction, I just have to multiply by the inverse. So the inverse of one over V is going to be V over one. Remember inverse, we just flip it upside down. What that's going to do is that's going to cancel out this and this, this and this. So I'm going to come over here and I'm going to multiply by V over one. And what that's going to do is I'm going to just multiply straight across. I'm going to get V W on the top. And then one times T is T, sorry, it's so messy. And then I'm gonna get U by itself over here. So we're gonna go and type that in. U is equal to V times W on the top and T on the bottom. All right, let's try one more fraction one. So if I want to solve for U, the first thing I'm going to do, I like use the purple, is write it out. So I wanna solve for u, I wanna get u by itself, but that's pretty hard to do when u is on the bottom. So this is actually gonna be a two-step problem. First thing I'm gonna do is multiply by u to get rid of this fraction, because fractions are annoying. And that's gonna give me u times t equals s, so that's gonna cancel out. But I still don't have the u uh, by itself, but at least I don't have any fractions left anymore. So to get u alone, right now u and t are being multiplied together, so I'm just gonna divide by t and I'm left with u equals s over t. So, u equals s divided by t. And I'll do one more, one last one for you guys before we go. So solve for x in terms of y of w, y, and z. So y equals negative x, z, w. And right now I have a few things affecting the x. I have a negative, I have a z, and I have a w. So I'm going to divide, since they're all being multiplied by these things, negative z and w on both sides. Negative z, w. Ooh line in there so we got to see and not two. And this will cancel out with this, this will cancel out with this, this will cancel out with that. And I'll left with y over negative z w equals x. So I really hope this helped. If it did not help, please feel free to continue reaching out. I'm here for you uh, the best way that we can be. We can video chat if we need to, we can talk on the phone. Whatever you guys need, uh, we'll just keep working through and I'm super impressed with all of you and I miss you all a lot and I hope you're all doing well. If you need anyone to talk to, you just want to update somebody on your life, also available for that too, guys. All right. Have a good one.